I believe humans evolved to where we are today from single-celled organisms based on the, the theory of Darwinism and natural selection. I don't think that there was any sort of divine intervention. I believe evolution is um, pretty much proven theory. I don't believe in a higher order. Um, just because the fact that I haven't seen any, you know, proof or, you know, concrete evidence of that, and until somebody shows me, you know, that there is, then I'm going to have an inversion to organize religion, and I'm going to stay on the basis of chemical evolution. No life is simple, and all life shows the handiwork of a designer. Scientists know this, yet many believe in chemical evolution rather than be accountable to the creator God of the Bible. Next, we will examine the evolutionary view that simple life has evolved into complex life. Assuming that life miraculously appeared on Earth, is it possible that single-cell life evolved to become all the complex plants and animals we see today? That was Darwin's idea that everything, every living thing on the Earth, eventually could be traced back to a common ancestor. The thing that Darwinists believe is that life, that all the species on Earth have, have evolved by a process of spontaneous genetic mutation, that's a spontaneous change in the DNA which is the program for every living thing, coupled with natural selection, the survival of the fittest. The extraordinary thing is that although the theory has been pretty well accepted universally for over a century now, there is absolutely no direct evidence to support it at all. Darwin made a big deal about the fact that there were various sizes of finches, small, large, medium-sized finches. He made a big deal of the fact that there were finches with uh, large beaks, thick beaks, long beaks, and thin beaks. Darwin assumed that these beaks were evidence of evolution. In fact, these beaks were the result of the genetic variability that already existed in the population. If you take two medium finches with medium-sized beaks, and you breed them, you will get some finches with small beaks and some finches with larger beaks. Over time, as these finches spread out into the various environments, certain beak sizes would be favored in certain environments and therefore they would become the predominant type. But the point is, is the capability to produce the small beaks, the medium beaks, and the large beaks was already in the parent population of the Galapagos finches. And it was simply the environmental differences that allowed them to be expressed. It was not the creation of any new and unique information. The trouble is that all these finches actually do interbreed. And that is the, in biology, this is the test of uh, a species. Uh, two creatures which can breed and uh, produce live fertile young are regarded as being belonging to the same species and all the Galapagos finches meet that criterion so they are not many many species. If evolution was true we wouldn't be concerned about the extinction of species there'd be new ones being created we don't have two species we got deterioration we have all kinds of species that no longer exist.